call to the honourable member for Durack. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Aged Care. Already, 23 aged care homes have closed under this government, compared to 300 that were opened under the former coalition government. This follows the Albanese Labor government's decision to implement the Royal Commission's recommendations and impose rigid constraints on the sector. Order. Will the government now make a commitment to expanding the exemption criteria until the current workforce crisis has been addressed? Call to the Minister for Aged Care and Sport. Oh, thank you, Mr Speaker. I cannot believe that those opposite of all weeks would choose this week to try and lecture the government on management and funding of the aged care system <laughs> and to suggest Order. to dare to criticise to dare to criticise us yep. for trying to pull every single lever we have at our disposal yep. to try and lift the standard of aged care as quickly as humanly possible. Order. To walk into this chamber Mental and page. to criticise us for trying to take that Please. action to lift the standard of care for residents. It is unfathomable that they have learned nothing no. after neglecting the sector for nine long years to walk in now and criticise the people left cleaning up their mess. A workforce crisis that was formed on their watch. A workforce crisis that has taken 11, 12 months to address through working on migration settings with the Minister for Immigration, the Minister for Home Affairs, the Minister for Skills, the Minister for Education, the Minister for Health, the Prime Minister, the Treasurer. Every single minister has had to spend time cleaning up their mess to address the crisis in aged care. And they've seriously walked in today to say you're doing it too fast. You're cleaning up the mess too quickly. How dare you try and address a crisis in an page. urgent manner? Unbelievable. And yet here we are Order. after 12 months with the having them having learned nothing. The Minister will resume her seat. The member for Jellybrand is warned. The member for Deakin, the member for Moncrief and the member for New England are continually interjecting. You are not sitting in the banks, member banks, you're not sitting in your correct seat. So if you do that one more time, you will be removed. I'll Relevant give the speaker. call to the member for Jura. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Relevance. The whole of Australia wants to know is the government going to expand the exemption criteria? Can the minister please address that issue? Resume your seat. The question. The question contained information regarding the Royal Commission and the issue of aged care facilities being closed. I'm just going to ask the Minister to return to the question. She is being relevant. I will listen carefully for the remainder half of her answer. She has the call. I agree the whole of Australia wants us to fix aged care. That I agree with. I agree the whole of Australia went to the election last year and voted for a government that would actually take the aged care crisis seriously. That I agree with. I agree that the whole of Australia considered the two offerings from each of the two parties of government and said, we trust Labor to address this crisis and to try and lift the standard of aged care in this country. And Having had 15 long months with the final report of the Royal Commission into Aged Care, having Mr. chosen Jurak to address only nine of 148 nine. recommendations, when the opposition raises the 24-7 nursing policy, they don't have a stance on a 24-7 nursing policy. They don't have a position on 24-7 nurses. They walk in here having not used 15 months to address the problem and still do not have a position on aged care 24-7 nursing policy. They didn't do it. They didn't fund it. They didn't roll it out. Member they didn't address the workforce crisis that Member formed on their watch. We are addressing a workforce crisis that stems from 2017, $2.5 billion worth of funding cuts that they chose to make, which set in place a rolling crisis of neglect addressed by a royal commission. Yep. And even now, they walk into this chamber and say, oh, we see that you are urgently acting to address the crisis. How dare you do it so quickly? How dare you act so quickly? We're worried it's too the fast. Time has Unbelievable. Concluded.